so guys in this video we're going to be talking about frequency separation okay so frequency separation is all about smoothing the skin and taking off blemishes blemishes are all those pimples you can see on the face check it so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to be duplicating our background as our image the one we're working on we're going to be duplicating it into two you can always control j or you drag it to the nearest new layer then that's how you double click it okay so now we're going to be naming the middle layer we're going to be naming its color and we're going to be naming the one above it we're going to be naming that one texture okay so now the first thing we're going to be working on is color okay and what are we going to be doing to color we want to blow the color layer okay so we are going to go to filter we go to blow i'm going to select gaussian blow okay and when you're selecting Gaussian blur, look for an area that has texture but is closer to where you, are, you have your eyes, okay? And when you're adding your Gaussian blur, please make sure that the area you are trying to reduce the texture is smooth, but make sure you are seeing the face, at least the little details in the face. So I'm going to be using two for my video. But imagine if I zoom it, if I increase the radius to be a very to be a very high radius and let's see what it's going to give us okay so you can see i'm seeing the details of the eyes so increasing the radius you can see i didn't see anything if i reduce the radius a little this is still not good because i'm not seeing the details in the eyes okay so now i'm going to be reducing my radius to 2.7 2.3 so i think i'm okay with 2.3 because this texture is a little bit blur but i'm still seeing the face so i'm going to click okay so now we're going to be working on the texture layer okay so now you make your texture layer you make it visible by clicking that eye icon so now you click your texture layer you go to image from image now you're going to go to apply image apply image then we're going to be changing the layer of the apply image we're going to be selecting color because now we are applying the texture to the color okay to the color, color layer so you select the color that's because you've named the layer color so you select color then you go to your blending mode you change it to subtract yes then make sure your scale is 2 and your offset is 128 that's what i'm going to be using i'll click ok then now we're going to be changing the texture layer blending mode and you can find that where you have this normal sign up above your layer here you can see where my mouse is pointing at so now i'm going to be selecting linear light okay me using linear light now i can see both my texture and my color background layer. so now what i'm going to be doing next now is grouping both my texture and my color layer together okay so you're going to hold your control key then you click on your color you can always press your control or command g or you come down to this place beside the new layer and you make them in a group so secondly we're going to be naming the group frequency separation so now here is where this frequency separation begins so what do we do first in our frequency separation we work on the texture layer so now the first thing we're going to be doing is removing blemishes okay blemishes are just pimples like i said before pimples rough roughness on the skins so those are the first thing okay and for this video i'm going to be using patch tool you can always use healing brush you can use stamp but i'm okay with patch tool because patch tool let me select where i want to replace then I'm going to drag it to a clean, smooth surface, okay? You select the blemishes, you drag to a clean surface without blem blemishes. So what you have to do is you click, you, you round it, you click, you round it, then you drag it to where you want to replace it, with, okay? So you can see, I'm clicking.
what I'm doing basically is just cl clicking around the blemishes and replacing it with a smoother part. Okay, there's nothing special, there's nothing new. That's what I've been doing since. Okay, guys. So the next step now, after you have removed all the blemishes around, is to smooth the skin. So now we are going to be working on our color, and I'm going to be using my mixer brush too. Okay, you go to brush, you select your mixer brush too. Then in that place, make sure you are using a clean brush. You're selecting the second option among those brush panel. Make sure your weight is 7, your load is 75, your mix is 90, and your flow is 100. Okay, and the other one stays like that. It's always like that. So now, what I'm going to be doing basically now from here is just blending similar tones together. Okay, like blending similar tones in the, in the skin together. That's all. So you just brush around, you brush around the surface, you can see, you just brush around the surface, you brush around the surface. It's like you're cleaning the skin, so you are making sure you are taking your brush around similar color tones, okay? Yeah, make sure you're taking the skin around. If you notice now, the skin is getting a little bit smooth, it's not as rough like the way it was before. So that's what I'm just doing basically, just brushing around. The skin surfaces make sure i'm brushing around similar skin tones take your time don't be in a hurry you might not get it the first time but you have to just keep trying you have to just keep trying okay so i'm gonna forget when you're using your mixer brush to we are working on the color layer okay we are working on the color layer the last the one we did before now when we are removing those blemishes, we were working on the texture layer. So now, you, when you're using your mixer brush, so make sure you're on your color layer. Because a lot of people make that mistake a lot and you're wonder, wondering why it's not working. So make sure you're always on the color layer when you're using your mixer brush too. So in my next video, we're going to be doing color grading and I'm going to also teach you how to use Gaussian Blur instead of mixer brush. Well, some people find it difficult to use mixer brush so i'm going to be teaching you how to also use the gaussian blow instead of using the mixer Make sure you take your time when you're using the mixing brush too okay just brush within similar color tones okay so now i'm working on the neck part what you just need to do is brush just brush you brush and sometimes you might not see the effect all you have to just do is you turn off your group icon layer then you turn it on again so now let's see if that has been different from what we've been doing so let me Turn of the group, the frequency group icon. You can see this is the old one. This is now. This is before. This is now. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time. See you.